Hi friends, in this video we are going to see what is the need of filter circuit. The first point, the output obtained by rectifier circuit is not pure DC, it is called as a pulsating DC. What do you mean by pulsating DC? It has some AC component present with useful DC output. So, pulsating DC means it has some AC component with DC output voltage. The AC component present in DC output voltage or you can say output voltage of a rectifier is called as ripple. So, our job is to get output voltage ripple free. What do you mean by ripple free? It is pure DC. Because most of the electronic circuits require pure DC voltage. So, in order to remove this ripple, we use filter. Where we are going to connect this filter? So, the filter is connected between rectified output and final load. So, let us draw a block diagram. So, here the input is AC supply that is passes through a rectifier circuit. This could be half wave rectifier centered a full wave rectifier or bridge rectifier. So, right here it is a half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier. Then the outcome of this block is a rectified output. As we discuss this contain AC and DC. What we need to do? We need to make that free from AC. So, we connect filter circuit. So, filter circuit makes sure that all AC components or maximum AC component has been removed. So, whatever left is the pure DC that will pass through load. So, the output over here it is pure DC. Let us draw the waveforms of voltages at various places. So, first of all is AC supply. So, all of you know it will be a sinusoidal waveform. Then that got rectified by rectifier circuit and rectifier will give the output voltage of this nature. So, I will draw it for full wave rectifier that means it will be like this. You can draw it from half wave also. So, this is called as a pulsating DC. It has some AC component present in it. And if I pass this to a filter circuit, ultimately voltage across load resistance VL will be pure DC. Now, we have discussed what is the need of filter circuit. Now, let us decide what are the components that will play a role in making a filter circuit. So, since the ripple is a AC component, so it has some frequency associated with it. So, we need to select that element whose resistance or reactance depend upon a frequency. So, generally for filter circuit we use inductor and capacitors.
Why so? The answer lies in a basic principles. So, what are the basic principles? So, for inductor, so if I write the reactance of this, reactance is nothing but resistance offered by inductor to the flow of current. So, for inductor, it is called as a inductive reactance and given as 2 pi fl. So, if suppose frequency is 0 and that is the case for a DC supply, so XL will become equal to 0. So, for frequency 0, which is nothing but a DC, what I will get XL equal to 0. That means, it has least resistance for the passage of DC current. But if frequency is high like a case in AC or especially in a ripple, it will be very high. So, for frequency which is very high, you will get XL value also proportionally high. So, what I can say from this? So, this frequency I have is nothing but a AC component especially a ripple. So, what is the conclusion I can draw? So, the conclusion draw is this inductor allows DC current, but it blocks AC current. What is our objective? Maximum DC or ideally 100 percent DC should pass to the load, but AC should be filtered out. So, if I connect inductor in series with a rectified output voltage, it will block AC component that is ripple and it will allow DC component passage through the load. So, what I can say inductor should be connected in series with, with the load. So, that is called as inductor filter, a simple concept. Let us go to capacitor filter. Now, in a capacitor, the resistance offered to the flow of current is given as Xc equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc. It is called as a capacitive reactance, unit is same as the resistance that is ohm. So, if I have a frequency 0 that is the case for a DC current, then obviously I will get Xc as infinite a very high value. Moreover, for the frequency which is increasing in nature or AC current or especially ripple in this case, the Xc will be decreasing. So, it will offer very high resistance for DC, but very low resistance for AC ripple. So, what I can say? It gives me a conclusion that capacitor allows AC current or you can say ripple current, but it blocks DC current. Remember our output is having both AC and DC. What we want? DC should pass to the load removing AC. So, either you can block in series or you can allow passing through a parallel path. That means, if you are using filter as a capacitor filter, make sure that capacitor is connected across load. Now, based on the components used and their combination, we can have these types of filters. L filter, you can say inductor filter, second capacitor filter, C filter, third combination of L and C. So, we call that as a LC filter. To have a best improvement in the output voltage that is 
perfect pure DC, we can have CLC filter. Let us draw a circuit for this. So, L filter is simply an inductor in series with a load. C filter, we have a capacitor across the load. So, this is a load. LC, obviously a combination of L and C. So, it will be like this inductor in series with a load, but capacitor across load. And CLC will be like this. You will have two capacitors and a inductor in CLC filter. Thank you.